Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Johnny M and this is a new episode of Farming Simulator Timelapse on Hudat Huda Range map. Episode number 25. In the previous episode, if you remember, we bought uh, the Big M 500 mower and we mowed this little patch of grass. Then we uh, produced these uh, square bales of grass and we wrap up some of them into silage bales. So the idea was to combine grass bales with silage bales and make cow uh, power food. But the thing is that I forgot that the mixers actually accept uh, hay, not uh, grass. So what we'll have to do is mow another patch of grass and uh, dry out the grass into hay and only then we'll be able to produce some cow feed. Okay, so you now are seeing me uh, driving to other uh, grass patch. This one here. We'll quickly mow it. You just saw 30 seconds ago how I uh, sold the mowing implements that we used uh, I guess from the even from the first episode when we mowed the first grass for uh, ships the advantage of this mower is not that uh, uh, it's quite powerful and has uh, almost 50 meters uh, uh, wide wingspan if I can say so but also it uh, it is able to row directly the grass so uh, there is no need for an additional uh, uh, operation of uh, rowing the grass I remember in FS 2013 when this uh, machine was introduced it had the function to uh, disable or enable the rowing. So uh, if you for some reason wanted to uh, just mow the grass without rowing it, you could do. Uh, while this mod and other mods uh, of this machine now doesn't have that functionality for some reason. Yeah, the idea was that if you don't roll the grass and leave it unrolled on, on the ground, uh, it will eventually uh, dry out by itself. So if you have the time to wait for the grass to dry out, uh, you could do it. I don't know if this is valid uh, in FS17. Okay, and so what I did right now is I bought the smallest uh, tether in order to dry up the grass or ted it, I think that's it's also a verb, or rake it. Uh, but because I recorded the mowing process, uh, now I was able to use my helper to, um, to do the job while uh, me with my other tractor I'm making these uh, bales. Also as you can see I installed this little mod uh, bale counter. Not because it's uh, necessarily a fancy thing but also um, it provides me the information of how many bales I produce uh, in a certain session or on a certain field uh, so that I can decide how many of them I need to wrap up into silage bales because it, as you know um, you need a certain um, 
ratio of uh, silage and uh, hay into the mixer. So knowing how many bales I just produced, uh, it's, uh, it's a good thing. Also what I noticed from this mod, if you use the helper to make the bales, um, the session count of bales will not be displayed correctly, but the total number of bales will, uh, will go up accordingly. So um, bear in mind, if you want to use the helper, you have to memorize the total number of bales before the beginning of the session. And then uh, you can find out how many BLC you produce uh, in this particular session. Okay, and now it's time to buy the Picon Biga um, feed mixer. Initially, I wanted to use the, the Kuhn one, the big Kuhn, uh, but there's two things I don't like about it. First of all, the capacity is smaller than this one. This is 64 cubic meters, while the Kuhn one is 48. And also, uh, the turning radius on that Kuhn is very bad. I don't like it. I remember the original Kuhn from FS13, I think, uh, had a great uh, turning radius. But this modified one, I think it's called XXL or 3XL, it's not, not very good. Okay, so I'll use, because the bales are 6,000 uh, liters each, we cannot put, uh, uh, we cannot maximize the size of this feeder, because it has 64 cubic meters. So what we'll do is we, We'll be using three silage bales and seven uh, hay bales for a total uh, 60,000 liters uh, with the ratio 70% to 30%, which is okay. Now it's time to buy the cows. You just saw that I went and sold one. Uh, batch of pigs because now since we're gonna have also cows I decided to tell down uh, a little bit on the number of uh, pigs that we have it used to be 500 now we'll keep uh, a 400 level of uh, pig heads but in terms of cows we'll see how many uh, we will be able to buy we have this and one more batch of pigs to sell and also I um, borrow the maximum amount of money I can. So this trailer can uh, hold 30 cows, as you can see, twice the amount of the in-game Micheletta trailer. Okay, now it's time to give them the first uh, power food. The level is going up, but not as fast as I thought. Because yes, um, cows are the most uh, let's let's put it like this biomass intensive, so they consume the the highest amount of food. Albeit, it's uh, it's a cheap food, so let's agree, yeah? it's just grass uh, which uh, regrows by itself. So they eat a lot, but the food is cheap. Even if you make your silage out of chaff, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit more work with the chaff, but chaff has very, very high yield. So even a small field of uh, corn will give you lots and lots of chaff. And since this game uh, works with the uh, liters, which is volume, uh, 
Each liter of chaff transforms into one liter of silo. silage. In real life, it depends upon the, the, the moisture level, um, the compacting. Like chaff, it's it's very. Um, it's not dense at all. It's it's uh, almost entirely um, air. But when you make silage, you compress it a lot. Uh, in this game, uh, there is uh, this compression mechanics, but the number of liters doesn't go down. So, uh, from this respect, it's it's not very realistic. But uh, I guess the creators of um, the game uh, wanted to make uh, things simple, so they uh, decided to just use uh, liters for all of the crops and uh, not complicate themselves with uh, mass and density. Although there is such thing as density in this game, but it is used only to calculate uh, the physics of a vehicle so for example if you are um, hauling straw your vehicle will handle a lot better than if you are hauling let's say water because water has uh, one liter per uh, cubic decimeter while um, well I wanted to say one kilogram per liter while straw has a lot lot less density. Okay, so now we will uh, load some uh, some grass because uh, outside straw, uh, yeah, outside uh, hay and silage uh, that you use for power food, uh, cows also require uh, grass. So what I'm doing now, I'm finishing loading this straw that I had on the ground. I'm loading it here and I'll go. And, oh, oops. Yeah, I'll go to load uh, some more straw where we have it on the ground. I guess at some point we'll either uh, make uh, straw bales and keep the straw in the form of bales or we'll have to buy that uh, uh, feed storage system that we have uh, in previous season okay so we got our first revenue from milk 4800 euros not much but uh, if you remember we started to produce milk uh, in the evening so I guess uh, tomorrow we'll have a lot more uh, revenue from milk. Also the reproduction rate of cows is the, the smallest, the slowest in this game. I assume if this game would have rabbits, they'll have the highest uh, reproduction rate. I decided to clean up the wool not because it's necessary but because I have no other things to do right now I'm just waiting for the time to pass and I decided to make my power food here on this uh, patch of grass to be as close as possible to cows and I'll try not to hit any of them but if I do then Please forgive me. Let's not forget that we also have pigs. So we have from time to time to uh, give them some pig food. As you can see, we already got our first uh, in-house uh, in-house made cow. We have now 91. 
cows. We'll sell a batch of uh, pigs. And another one right after the first. I'm uh, constantly monitoring uh, the growth, growth state of the field that we bought uh, in previous episode. Episode, as you remember, I intended to. The harvest field, uh, we don't need because I seeded myself the wheat. But uh, after I bought the field, I got canola on it. So we'll have to work with what we got. I had a little bit of soybean in the combine, so I have to deliver it to the silos. Yeah, and I thought there is a direct uh, road to that field, but it looks like it isn't. Now it's time to um, fold the cutter and bring the combine to the field number 17. Which, by the looks of it, it's the longest field. One of the longest on this map. Uh, this is why I, I bought it. Because I love long field so that I don't need to turn U turn as as often. Okay, and let's start harvesting the field. I'll increase the, the speed to 12x. This is the first time we are harvesting this field. I decided to do it myself. Probably next time uh, we'll use a helper and we'll drive along. Because next time we should uh, uh, seed either wheat, either barley, because we'll have after this harvest we'll have enough uh, protein crop. We need the regular crop now. And also, <coughs> since we now have this um, baler, next time I will um, not swat the straw, I will let it on the ground, and then uh, I will uh, bale the straw. As I said previously, we will play with bales for a number of episodes, after which uh, I guess I will use just loader for straw and uh, grass. But bales are great, you know, it's uh, interesting to, to play with them, <laughs> up until you get bored, of course. So first... Uh, Chipper of Nola from our new mod field.
So we'll have at least uh, two full uh, kippers with canola. That's uh, 80,000 liters. Okay, as usual, if you like what you saw, then give it a thumbs up and of course thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any suggestion then leave it in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.